In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to create a gorgeous full centerpiece DIY. Keep watching. Hello everyone, welcome back to Ramon at Home. I'm so excited you're here today because in this video we continue our fall decorating series for 2023 and I'm gonna share with you how to create a gorgeous full centerpiece DIY step-by-step. -step. This centerpiece is absolutely stunning and I really think you're going to enjoy it. After we're done creating this beautiful full centerpiece, I'm gonna share with you a beautiful tablescape where we're going to display our gorgeous centerpiece. Now this is our third video in the full series. So far we've done a beautiful wreath DIY and I share with you how to create a gorgeous full bow step-by-step. -step. So those videos are going to be linked down below so you can watch them after this one. All right, you guys, well, to create a gorgeous centerpiece, I'm gonna take you into the studio. But before we do that, I want to ask that if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing. And if you already subscribed, don't forget to turn the notification bell on because you will not want to miss any of the full decorating ideas for 2023. Are you guys ready? Let's get to the studio and I'm gonna share with you how to create this beautiful full centerpiece DIY. Keep watching. All right, everyone, so to get started, I'm gonna give you a list of all of the materials we're going to need to create this beautiful full centerpiece DIY. It's going to be super simple, super quick, and I know you're going to love it. So I'm gonna just point out that this is going to be a neutral palette, and if you guys have been following the channel for a while, you know that last year we did a whole series of neutral full DIYs, including some centerpieces that I'm going to link in the description box below so you can get inspired on how to create beautiful full centerpieces for your fall decorating this year. So I'm gonna start by mentioning this container. This actually belonged to my mom and one day I went home and I just brought it because I love the little lion detail on it. I'm a Leo, so I had to have it. My mother was very gracious enough to give me, but you can use any container that you may have. I'm gonna use some of these white sunflowers. These came from Walmart. So I'm gonna use about four of them. Two of these picks of little uh, pom-poms. These are from at home. I'm gonna use some green moss to cover our mechanics. I'm gonna use a little bit of burlap ribbon. Now these stakes right here, these are floral picks and you can find them anywhere that your floral supplies are sold, like Hobby Lobby or any florist actually can sell them to you. Or also you can call Shinoda Design Center, they have them available. I'm gonna use some wire and I, I love this little container right here to hold all my wires. I'm gonna use some of these beautiful eucalyptus from David Christopher's. And I absolutely love this one because it looks so natural and I love the combination of the green and the brown. I'm going to use um, a pumpkin that is on the uh, cream color and I just am obsessed with these cream colors because they go so well with the browns and the greens. Then I'm going to use one or two stems of David Christopher's maple foliage as well as two of these beautiful pumpkin picks that we're going to be using for this. These are from Hobby Lobby and four blocks of your foam that you can find at any dollar store. I'm always telling you to just buy your mechanics that are going to be hidden at the dollar store because they're super affordable. All right, so I'm going to clear this real quick and I'll be right back to give you step number one on how to create a gorgeous full centerpiece DIY. All right, everyone, so step number one on creating this beautiful full centerpiece DIY is going to be to prep our container. I've already dropped a little square of foam all the way to the bottom, and that's gonna save us some of the foam that we're going to be using. And I'm always telling you that prepping your container is a lot of work, but it is necessary in order to have a beautiful DIY. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually leave that right here on the package. And you guys will see in a minute why. So I had to take one of those little squares out and I'm going to maybe use, let's see. You get to decide how many you want to put in there really. And you also have to, it's kind of like a Jenga game. So there, there you go. It's gonna be more like this and like this. So that's perfect. So we're going to do this. And I also want a little bit of an edge to it because I'm going to use some of this moss and you guys know that I get this moss at Walmart and I just love working with it because it really creates that natural feel. So what you do is you basically stretch it out like this and then you go on the edge. You want it to be really tight. So what you need to do is maybe do a little bit of the corners first like this. 
And this is a florist trick. I worked as a florist for many years and that's where I learned how to do all of this crafting and DIYing and designing. And you know, it was always so important to do it the right way because you, if you're doing this to sell or if you're doing it for a customer or even for a family member or a friend, you don't want them to take it apart and see that the mechanics were not properly done. So that's why we always, in the industry, we're always talking about mechanics. And then also what I like about this moss is because it does have that like wild look and look what it looks like. So we have our foam in the middle and then all of this beautiful moss around it. So now I'm gonna move on to step number two, but before I do that, I'm gonna clear in real quick and bring the next materials and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so step number two is going to be to add our focal point, which is going to be this beautiful cream pumpkin. And for that, I have already added some skewers to it with some glue. And um, I'm gonna put this right here in the middle. And I want it to be lift up a little bit because we're going to add the greenery. So you don't wanna push it all the way down and then be flush and then you're only gonna see about this much of your pumpkin, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add some of this greenery and this I am obsessed with. Like I was telling you, they come from David Christopher's and they have a website where you can go shop for all of your fall supplies. Um, so I'm going to cut all of them at once and I'm going to remove the tags. So I'm gonna use two stems and they have, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six of them. So that's 12 we're gonna be using. And I'm gonna start right here in the perimeter. And I just love the combination of these beautiful sage green and brown. And remember what happens on the left happens on the right. And so we're going to insert like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go over to this corner right here and see how that moss really helps it to look more organic and beautiful and you always want to insert your stems kind of sideways you don't want to insert like this because see if i insert like this i'm going to cover the pumpkin but if i insert on an angle it spills out which is what we want when the spillage and then what happens on the right happens on the left right here see and then i'm going to move over about 180 degree turn and then i'm going to do the same thing right here what happens on the left happens on the right and what goes up must come down. I'm gonna save a few of these for the end. That's my other trick. I'm gonna save three. So I'm gonna add yet another one right here. I'm always telling you guys to save some of the materials at the end because then if there's any gaps or holes and you can always go back and fill in. So now I have this older David Christopher's stem. So I'm gonna cut it. You get three little stems. Well, actually you get one long stem or you can cut them into threes and then get your money's worth out of it, right? So I'm gonna use that. And look how absolutely beautiful these are, you guys. So what you wanna do is you wanna cut this stem on an angle to kinda make it sharp. Give it a little sharp cut, and then I'm going to go right here. Look how pretty that is. I'm gonna go all the way around, and I'm going to cut. I'm gonna put this guy right here. We're gonna spill it backwards. I'm gonna move around and I'm gonna do the same thing over on this side, like this. I want it to spill back. We don't wanna hide that pumpkin, right? So I wanna make sure that I'm cutting my stems short and then also that I'm bringing them down like this because you don't wanna hide that pumpkin. And I'm gonna save two for the end in case that I need them. All right, so then the next thing I'm gonna do, and I wanna explain real quick, when I'm working on a project, I always like to have all of my materials on these white containers, because look, I can just gather all the things that I need, and that way I can make my life easier. I'm gonna get my ribbon out. So I'm gonna trade in, I'm gonna put all the things that I need on this side, and then I'm gonna put the things that I already use and that I might use later on, on this side. And then I'm gonna bring my skewers, because you know we're gonna need those. All right, so now what I'm going to add it's gonna be some of these sunflowers. Now for these sunflowers, what I'm going to do, so I'm gonna do a little cut and then I'm gonna grab one of these skewers. They come with a little wire and what you wanna do is wire the sunflower down to the, to the stake and it gives you a longer stem, right? So I'm gonna add one right here on the corner. And remember that we always work on sets of threes, twos, and ones. And because I have four of these flowers, 
I'm gonna grab another skewer and I'll show you real quick. And that's the benefit of having these little stakes, you guys. I'm always telling you to always have all of your tools at the ready and have kind of like, you know how the makeup artists always have like their makeup kit? Like if they're going out there to do makeup work, um, they always have like their makeup kit. Well, as crafters, we also have to build our kit, right? With all of our other items that we need, like uh, stems and wires and uh, stakes and all the things that we need because that makes our job easier, especially if you're going out on the road, which sometimes I do for Christmas. I go out decorating for Christmas. So I like to have my kit like this. All right, so now I have three and I'm gonna add, you know what, I'm gonna add, an, I'm gonna add the other one. Why not? Since we are already doing it. Now I wanted to share with you a trick real quick because it is important for me that you know this. You see how our pumpkin is kind of getting lost? Well, what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna take her out and see how you can use a candle right here. You can put a candle, you can uh, put a character, but what I'm going to do, is so I'm gonna bring some more of my foam and then I'm going to put a square right here in the middle. And then I'm going to reinsert my pumpkin and that's going to help us elevate her even more in order to really be able to see it. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna trade places with my picks and I wanna share with you real quick. So these picks are from Hobby Lobby and they come on this bundle right here and I love it, it has a pumpkin. It has so many items. And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab my scissors and I'm gonna cut. This is like wire with paper and I'm gonna share with you real quick. We used to do this at the flower shop where I worked. We go in there and we cut some of this paper and we unravel it. Look how easy it is to just pull it and unravel it. So you wanna do that. The reason why you wanna do that is because you already pay for it, right? And this guy was, let's see. This was only $6.99 minus 50% off and you know they're only doing 40% off now until the end of the season they do 50 so now they're going to be a little bit more but what you want to do is you want to unravel it and then start pulling it apart thumbs up if you guys are enjoying so far this full season i'm having so much fun sharing with you brand new diys and ideas and then also remember there's going to be a whole playlist down below of all of the past centerpiece DIY ideas for full that we share with you in order for you to be inspired to create some more beautiful centerpieces this year. So be sure after you watch this video and after you leave a like and then also share with your friends uh, on your Facebook, on your Instagram, on your Twitter, on all of your social platforms so they too can come and enjoy this year's seasonal decorating. You guys will not want to miss our holiday season. We are working up a storm right now behind the scenes to bring you the best Christmas season yet. And let me tell you, it is going to be dazzling. I always like to tell people that are new to the channel, you will be dazzled this year because I am working so hard to bring you brand new DIY ideas and concepts and just the themes and all of it. And I cannot wait for you guys to see that. All right, so once we are done, what you wanna do is you want to pull this apart. All right, you guys, so now that we've unraveled our picks from Hobby Lobby, look at all of the material that you get to play with, right? You get some berries, you get some little pumpkins, you get some foliages, you get some willow picks, and so we're going to do just that, and I could not be more excited to share with you. All right, so I'm gonna bring my centerpiece back into the picture, and I'm going to share with you how we're gonna do this. So first, we're gonna add our, our cute little pumpkins, and so I'm going to add these two right here into the foam. I'm gonna put one right there and then I'm gonna go opposite way and then I'm gonna do another one right here. How cute is that? All right, so now I'm gonna add some of these willow picks that come with it. Look how cute, you just kinda of pull them apart. I'm gonna bring this up. So I'm gonna go like that. I'm gonna twist around and I'm going to spread them apart like this. Give them some curvature. And I'm gonna add that right there. So now it comes with these berries right here. So I'm gonna add another one right there. Then I'm gonna come and do another one right here. Remember what happens on the left happens on the right. So just be sure to spread them apart equally. And I have some of these longer picks. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna fold them down like this. I'm gonna bring this guy right here. So going down like that. I'm gonna grab the other one and give it a curvature down like this, 
playing with all the elements. I'm gonna bring this guy over to this side, like this. And so now I'm gonna start using this. Oh, look, I forgot to take the tag off. Pesky tags. So I'm gonna start filling in with this right here closer to my pumpkin. All of these little foliages that come with it. You wanna add them because look how it's tying all of the look together. All of these colors are marrying so well together. And then at this point also you wanna use all of these foliages to cover some of the foam. Look at this, how absolutely beautiful is this? And you wanna go, you wanna go up, you wanna go down. What goes up must come down. I'm gonna add this guy right here. Look how cute this little ivy. This also will be perfect for a little boutonniere, which by the way, do you guys wanna see how boutonniere is done? I used to make boutonnieres for proms and it was one of my favorite things to do. Okay, so now that we have that, I'm gonna remove this guy right here. I'm gonna bring one of these stems from um, at home and I just love these guys right here. They're also on the cream color just like the pumpkin. So I'm gonna add some of these was gonna be our flyaways. Remember I do not make an arrangement unless I have some of these flyaways because that's what gives our arrangement some texture. Look at this. It's going to fly away from our centerpiece and it's gonna give us some air. That's why I call them flyaways because it really lifts up the arrangement. And look, what goes up must come down. So what I'm doing is like I'm putting one up, and then one down. And then I spin around a little bit and then I do one up, up here. And then I spin a little bit and then one down. And that's what's going to fill in our container and make it look even all throughout. Okay, I'm gonna add this one right here. Look how adorable is that? So now for our last touch, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna bring my ribbon. I'm gonna grab one of my skewers because we're going to need it. And I just thought that this is optional. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. But what I like to do is add a little bow. So I'm gonna start by cutting some of this. And this is a really dainty burlap ribbon that is natural, so it's going to blend in really well. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do just a little bow, just a little one, not too, not too big of a thing. So I'm going to go like this, making sure that I spin around. And I shared with you guys on one of our last videos how to make a bow with five different ribbons. So I'm going to link that down below. If you don't know how to make a bow, I really recommend you go watch that video because it really is very helpful on how to make a bow with different ribbons of widths and sizes. And so that's going to be linked down below. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna attach like that and see how it's just a sweet little bow, nothing too extravagant. And that is gonna add a touch of, um, of softness to my arrangement. So I grab a skewer and then I just spin this wire like this. It's gonna give us a pick. And I'm gonna look for the perfect placement for it let me see. I think I want to put it right about here. And so I'm going to go all the way down on my foam. Let's see. All the way down. Look how adorable. I'm going to put this inside and share with you a close up. I told you this centerpiece, it is super easy to make and it turned out so stunning. But now I'm gonna take you into my dining room and I'm gonna share with you a beautiful tablescape where we'll display this beautiful full centerpiece DIY. All right, so I want to share with you real quick how I set up a beautiful tablescape for this beautiful centerpiece DIY for fall that we just did. You guys, look how also stunning the white or cream pumpkin looks with those sunflowers. And the brown of the foliages just really complements the dishes right here. Let me share with you the stack of dishes I did. I did a wicker or rattan um, charger with a beautiful cream with a gold rim and also with a beautiful crystal ball with a gold rim as well. Look how stunning this ball is, you guys. So beautiful, and then to complement, I did my gold flatware along with these beautiful goblets just with a single gold rim and the candles on beautiful crystal stick candle holders. I just, I am obsessed and in love with this beautiful tablescape. It really screams full, it looks glamorous, 
and it is just absolutely beautiful.